Hey yo, E King Fight News, and your boy Anthony Joshua appears to be on a, a, a an American media tour. Something that it's weird because because he said it wasn't about the hype. Didn't Anthony Joshua say it wasn't about the hype? Now he's out here talking that gang of shit about Deontay Wilder, talking about he's gonna knock him out in front of his family, talking about he doesn't know why the fight is signed. Anthony Joshua told Stephen A. Smith, I don't know why the fight isn't signed yet. Man, get the get this dude. Oh boy. You know what? This guy better not be putting on some type of act, man. I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. While he's out there doing interviews, someone needs to call him out, man. Someone needs to call this dude out. Anthony Joshua acting like he never asked for 50 million right now. Act, acting like he never got offered 50 million. Unbelievable. Um, AJ out here on a media tour. He did Stephen A. Smith. You know. Found his way on front row of a major NBA playoff game. He's on Conan O'Brien. This is a media tour, guys. It's a media tour. Is he hyping up the fight? Like, to me, if he's talking that shit with Wilder and he's there to hype the fight, then I'm all for it. Because I think at the end of the day, these two guys need to bring their numbers up in, in the States. And this is how you do it. You get your name out there. You get some attention. And, um, <coughs> especially AJ. Fucking commentators calling him Anthony Johnson out here. So it's not like, um, it's not like he's the most known guy in the U.S. This is a smart move on Andy Hearn's part if he set this up. And Anthony Joshua, you better be looking at Deontay Wilder. That's all he's talking about in terms of um, opponents. That's, that's the only name on his mind. Which, to me, that's good news. You know, he ain't talking, he ain't really talking about a Pavekian fight. Which is what I expect Eddie Hearn wants to try and talk him into. But as I mentioned, he ain't really talking about an Alexander Pavekian. No one's asking about Pavekian. No one wants to see Pavekian. Dude's, dude's busy shooting up somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he probably is. So, it is what it is. Anthony Joshua. He's got interview after interview. Man, all that's great, man. Just make the fight. Just make that fight happen, and it'll be all gravy. You can't fight news more on the story, guys. Oddly enough, um, Eddie Hearn has come out and denounced that 50 million offer and saying, you know what? We we feel like we've earned the right. To have this fight in the UK, so we don't we don't mind making ten million dollars less. We don't mind that, but you know what? We feel like the UK is where we want this fight to happen. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Eddie Hearn, you know what? Just boss up Eddie and make a real offer to Deontay Wilder, and you just might get that fight. You just might get it. But you gotta make a real offer. You gotta make a real offer out here. We know this, this, this should be on all accounts a hundred million dollar fight. On all accounts. Especially in the US. Now if you want to make the fight less, because that's what that's effectively what Eddie Hearn's doing. He's not maximizing his revenues. What kind of promoter is this? Unbelievable. Either you know, either either Eddie Hearn is 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 turned into one of the worst promoters ever, or or he or he's really scared of this fight, man. Like he's got Wilder's got Eddie Hearn so shook right now. It's not even funny, man. It's not even funny. You know, damn right, it's just a matter of time before AJ gets pulled up on. You know, it doesn't even matter who it is, man. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't have to be Wilder. We're part of Wilder's team. 
Someone call AJ the fuck out and get it on camera. That's all you gotta do, man. That's all you gotta do. Talking that greasy shit. They better have this fight. I mean, Wilder's well, been quiet. Wilder's well, been very quiet right now, so... Hopefully all signs are pointing towards that direction, man. Because at the end of the day, they're talking about each other. They're hyping up the fight. And I'm okay I'm okay with this media tour. I mean, as long as the direction is to make this fight happen at all costs. No one's trying to see Pavekin, Joshua. No one's trying to see that fight. I hope Eddie Hearn can pick up on that. No one's trying to see that fight right now. The only people are trying to see that fight is Joshua Protection Team. And even they, and even, even they're shook about Pavekin. They don't even want to see Pavekin fight. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Luis Ortiz out here talking about he thinks he thinks Joshua's gonna duck. That's what Luis Ortiz is saying. Y'all thought I was playing. I look Luis Ortiz coach expects while the rematch feels Joshua will delay. And this is uh, the trainer, Luis Ortiz. Head west Ortiz. toward Parkside Drive, then turn right onto Parkside Drive. Oh, ah, yeah. Take it's... the next right onto Parkside Drive. Signs for Parkside Drive. All right, I got, I got to turn the map off for a second. Hold on a second. So they feel like the fight is going to be delayed. And it's, it's definitely possible we could see a 2019 fight with Wilder and Joshua. But that depends on media pressure, fan pressure, because right now it's up in the air. Um, we're not sure how close the talks have been with Pavekin's team right now. We just know there have been talks. If, if these negotiations break down, the Wilder negotiations break down, and the fight doesn't come to fruition, then definitely it will be Alexander Povetkin. I'll tell you that right now. But up until that point, up until that point, um, the focus should be Wilder Joshua. I think it is. And that's what's up, man. That's just what's up. I think all, I think a lot of fans right now are waiting in anticipation. Some UK fans, some UK fans on that Joshua side, they don't want to see this fight. They don't want to see the fight. They may feel like Josh was not ready, but you know what? He's not. If he's not ready now, he's never going to be ready. I'll tell you that much. If he's not ready now, he's never going to be ready. Because it's not like he's out here adjusting his style, doing different things. He's the same fighter every single time out. Right? It's not. You don't see this guy adjusting, switching southpaw. You know, you know, trying different styles, trying different tactics. No, no. So um, I expect Joshua to come in here and do what he did in the Parker fight. You know, I, I don't see, you know, as much as he's talking about going to war, I don't see that as a viable game plan. E-King Fight News, let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we out. And we're out.